Hey guys, what's up? Brittany here again to do a new tutorial, one that's long overdue. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do the braid out. Um, this is a three day old braid out. Um, so this is not exactly what it looks like when you first take it out. This is more looser, but I like this look too. It's just that I have school tomorrow, so I just kind of want to make it more fresh. I don't know how it's going to look tomorrow after I sleep. Okay, so first things first, you have to comb this knot out. So I guess I'm going to take all my earrings because it's going to get messy. Um, it's better if you use a bigger comb. I just don't have one. And usually I do this in the shower, um, but I can do it in here with this as well. So pretty much I part my hair into four sections. So I'll just, first I'll part into two. And then I'll split one of them into halves and comb up that side. And then I'll do the other half. So I just let's take the front half first. And then I start from the bottom. And just comb it. To the top. Okay, so once you have all four sections nicely combed out, then you take it out. <laughs> so you take it all out, so now it's all smooth, right like that, no knots. Now it's all really, really puffy. Alright, so this is my crazy hair that I've always wanted to rock out one day. Like, afro style. Really big. But anyways, okay. So, there's different things. Um, basically, sometimes, I'll just use the coconut oil. But I found that when you wet your hair and do the braiding, um, it's more tight. And it's less frizzy. So, I usually do I do it now when it's wet. But you can do it when it's dry. So, if you don't want to wet your hair, like, all the time when you do this, you can do it with just oil. But, um, I just like how it looks when I do it with water, too. Um, and I usually comb my hair out when it's wet, so it's just easier. It's already wet anyway. So once it's all wet or damp, make sure if you're going to not do it in the shower that you put a towel around because I am really wet right now. But yeah, so after you've done that, you put the mixed chicks in. Or actually, no, you put the oil in first. This is my coconut oil. Now, um, you don't always have to use coconut oil. Uh, I know some people use shea butter or different types of oils. Um, right now, I just have coconut oil. And I like using up my products first before I go on to another one. Unless I really, really want the other product. So, um, right now I have coconut oil, so I just use that. Um, so as you know, if you're thinking of coconut oil, I like it. It's really good moisturizer. It makes it really shiny and soft. But it has a smell to it. I don't mind the smell. Um, but my mom complains about it all the time, my hairdresser complained about it, my dad said, told me that it doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't smell good either. So, I don't know, it's up to you. Like, I don't mind it. People around me don't really say anything, just like my mom. But she has a sensitive nose, so it's up to you. It's okay, so once it's moisturized, that's when you put the mixed chicks in. I don't have it on me today, so I'm not using it. And then pretty much I do four sections, so I do four on this side. And four on this side. And pretty much I cane roll it or um, corn roll it in. So like, especially the front and the back, I don't really pay attention because um, the front is where you want it to be more defined because that's the first thing people see. So, <clears throat> so um, I just, it's so hard to do it in the mirror. So I just part it there. The first section's usually like, where it can go like that, to like my ear kind of thing like right behind my ear no the starting of my ear and that's the first one I'll do I'll just brush push that all back and I take the top and it doesn't have to be like super beautiful super neat or anything like that doesn't matter as long as it's as tight as you possibly can do it because the tighter the, the more defined it looked if you don't want it to be that defined then, you know, um, you don't 
have to do it as tight, but like it loosens up throughout the day anyways. It's better to start off tight because then if you start off loose, it'll just be frizzy. Like by the afternoon, which sucks. You don't want frizzy hair. You want this to last a few days. So yeah, so here I am pretty much. And once you're done braiding everything, it should look like this. So just all braided into four pieces, um, and I don't put any more oil in, I don't put any more water in, um, I'll put this in. Um, nourishing coconut out split ends mender. I know like really you should just cut your split ends off, but I use this to like prevent split ends. So I do this like before I go to bed anyways. I just put it on my ends, and like I don't know if it works or not. But it does make your ends really soft. Like, usually you have dry, if I, you have dry ends, they're not split, but they're really dry. This will make it, like, more moisturized and soft. Definitely. The next day I wake up, it always feels, like, soft. Like, you feel like you don't have any dry ends or dead ends at all. Even when I had dead ends, it made it soft. So, it's a good thing if you want that. And, yeah, so after this, um, pretty much I just, um... Let it dry out because it's still damp, so I'll just do my regular stuff like wash my face, brush my teeth, um, I don't know, clean my room, go on YouTube, like random stuff. Let it dry a bit and then I just wrap it up with my scarf. And it doesn't matter, you can like, I usually take it and put it into a bun. Like it won't cramp up the style at all, like it'll still come out proper. So I just cramp it up like that and I just wrap it in a scarf. And then I am finished. So um, I will show you guys tomorrow morning what the finished product looks like. So good night and I will see you in the morning. Hey guys, good morning. Um, so it's the next day. I'm just going to undo my braid to show you the braid out. So um, yeah, so after I just braid it, all I do is just take it out like this. Do, do, do. See? It's nice and like wavy. And voila, here it is after everything's taken out. This so I just try to cover up the part in the back a bit. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And I actually kind of like it right now. Parted in the middle. So, and see how, like, even though this one was a smaller braid or whatever, it's still, you can't even tell. Yeah, so, so make sure when you take it out that it's pretty much dry. It can be a little bit still, like, my hair is kind of still a little bit damp, but not really. Because, like, if you leave it too wet when you take it out, let's say you do it in the morning and you try to take it out in the afternoon, it'll be more frizzy. So the longer you leave it in, the less frizzy it'll be. And then, um... I used this. It was from the same. That's kind of bright. Yellow. There. Milk. Anti breakage serum. So this helps with frizz. I just put some. I just put it through my hair to keep it from not frizzing. This side. And I painted my nails. Aren't they so pretty? Love them. Got one, two new nail polishes yesterday, so really happy to wear it. But yeah, so um, this is the braid out. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you can do it too. Um, remember, you don't need to use coconut oil. It can be any oil that works best for you. So argan, jojoba, um, shea butter, whatever's good for you. Mine's coconut. Um, you can try mixed chicks, but as you can see, it looks good without it. So it's fine. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So. Um, have a great day guys or have a good night and I hope I really helped you a lot. Um, follow me on Instagram at Mercedes underscore 92. Um, I can put it down in the link below and yeah. Deuces! <laughs>